in the fast changing world of AI, there is one tool out there that really could give Midjourney a good competition. And it's called Leonardo AI. As of today, Leonardo is still in beta mode, so you can sign up with your email and then you get an invitation. For me personally, it took a week and yeah, now I'm happy to show you what Leonardo can do. Let's dive in. As you can see from the text on the web page, it seems to started to be used to creating game assets. But um, Leonardo can do so much more. So I will show you in a moment what we can do live. Um, these are just the examples of the websites I'm showing here. You can see helmets with different variations or buildings, concept art. So Leonardo can do a lot of stuff. What's really cool about Leonardo, it lets you use existing models based on stable diffusion, for example, Dream Shaper or Deliberate, but they have their own model, Leonardo Diffusion. When you get your invitation, you get 150 credits to use every day. You can basically create 150 images each day, but it really depends depends on the model you are using, it depends on uh, the resolution you are using. I will show you what it costs to generate an image later. So you first select a the model, then you say generate with this model and then you get a bunch of options like resolution, the number of images you want to generate. So for example down here it says what it will cost. It costs 7 tokens. So if I generate 4 images it would cost 14. You can also change the resolution down here and that would bring it down to 8 tokens. So but Leonardo AI is trained by 1024 by 1024. So you won't get the best results. So let's stick with this. And let's say a number of images too. It also has this prompt magic. Uh, Midjourney has a similar thing with version 5.1. What's cool is you can switch it on and off. You can achieve more with less prompts and um, the Midjourney will put their own magic into it and you can say how this is strange so you can also set how much it will impact your image down here. And you have a high contrast setting. In my other tutorial I show you how you use Epi Noise Offset. It's a LoRa I really like. And um, yeah, that's a kind of similar thing what they do here. But they have this slider to make it on or off. That's really nice. A guidance scale you can also know from automatic 11.11. Oh, control net. Control net will only work in stable diffusion 1.5. Okay, I understand that. Yeah, and we have an option for tiling down here. So yeah, that's, that's really nice. We can also upload an image like in automatic 11.11. They also have this prompt generation. This will help you write your own prompts. So you have a thousand prompts remaining apparently each day. And as I see correctly, it won't cost me anything of my credits. Okay, so let's dive in. Pretty female warrior with spear in and standing in jungle. So let's see how complex we have to be to get good results. Uh, let's keep it simple for now. We added the option to use prompt magic. So let's see. Realistic photo realistic. And I add full body shot. What we don't want is bad hands, bad crop, black and white. 
I also add here color photo. <clears throat> so generate. Somehow my images weren't showing up and I think I had to reload the page. I clicked twice, so this is the images we got. Yeah, not not bad. The face is not perfect, but we used not that much of a prompt. Maybe we will try to let us suggest some prompts. Hmm. Prompt generation. So we have these four down here. Yeah, let's try this one. Ah, now it works. We can't see the images. Oh, okay. Yes, this is so much better than what I came up with. So the spear is stuck in her back somehow. Uh, yeah, rendering weapons is uh, always kind of a challenge, even for stable diffusion. So I think it looks good. So this is what, what the own Leonardo AI can do. What you also can do is you go to the community feed and you get inspired by others. This here looks really cool. And <clears throat> as you can see, the prompts are quite complex here, but this isn't Leonardo Diffusion, I think. Now it's Dream Shaper version 5. So it uses Euler Discrete. I, I don't know the sampler. I think it doesn't exist in Automatic 11.11. Yeah, you can uh, remix it. You will uh, co you can copy the prompts. You can do image to image. That's really cool because a lot of people, they upload their images and they do this kind of information hiding where they change the prompt they upload because they don't want to share. And this is really cool. So another, this is very realistic. Um, I want to see RPG 4.0. Ah, yeah. Also work with this in automatic 11.11. You can go to personal feed. These are the images we have created. Yeah, you can train your own model if you want. Here's a list of fine-tuned models and it, again it shows the models uh, you can use. There are quite some. It's, it's really cool that you can use so many different models. And I think more models are going to come. Here are also community models. My models, I haven't trained one. Maybe I will one day, but for now I don't have an idea. So there are so many cool models already. Here are, we are back at the image generation. One of the coolest tools in Leonardo AI is the AI canvas. So how are we going to use it? We go back to our generated images and we use this. So now it's get loaded into a canvas and we can work with this. For example, let's take this here and we say snake in forest and hit generate. So you can outpaint with this. And yeah, as you can see, we've got a snake here. We have to, we have many different variations. I created four. Okay, let's use this here. So, and you can, what you can do, you can outpaint. You can outpaint the whole image. Another cool thing you can do is upload your own images. So, for example, I took this picture. It's from my last vacation and I uploaded it and I put the canvas here. And now I say medieval well. Let's see. Leonardo tries to analyze the picture and gives you something that fits. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if I see the well, but I outpainted my vacation image. So this is great. What I really like about Leonardo is that it runs in the browser. So one drawback of Midjourney for me personally was the need to run it on Discord and then type in this imagine and type your prompt in there and every one can see it and you don't know really know when it's get rendered and this is kind of more cool i really like it so in my opinion leonardo is already a really good player in the game as of today so as i said earlier i like it already more than mid journey and yeah, I just can say give it a try and let me know what you think of Leonardo. Have a nice day. Bye.